In 1946 the United States Army Air Forces issued the Penetration Fighter Competition, which called for a long-range, high-performance fighter to escort a new generation of bombers. Several companies responded with prototypes. McDonnell produced two prototypes designated XF-88 Voodoo. The first prototype flew for the first time in 1948, but proved to have a disappointing top speed. The second prototype was fitted with McDonnell-produced afterburners, which increased the performance. However it also increased the fuel consumption, resulting in shorter range. The Voodoo won the competition, but the detonation of the first nuclear weapon by the Soviet Union changed the priorities of the U.S. Air Force. The penetration fighter program was terminated, and now the focus was on interceptors rather than escort fighters. However experiences from the Korean War made the U.S. Air Force issue a new requirement for escort fighters in 1951. McDonnell made a larger version of the XF-88 Voodoo, and won the competition. The new version was designated the F-101 Voodoo. The F-101 was considerably larger, carried more fuel and had more powerful engines. In 1952, the mission of the F-101 was changed from penetration fighter to strategic fighter. This changed the focus to both bomber escort missions and nuclear weapons delivery. An initial order of 29 F-101s was placed in May 1953. No prototypes were made. The first production model F-101 flew in September 1954. It reached a top speed of Mach 0.9. When a ceasefire was reached in the Korean War and as more jet-powered bombers were produced, the Strategic Air Command withdrew from the project. They no longer saw the need for fighter escort. The F-101 was reconfigured to a fighter bomber, intended to carry a singular nuclear weapon. During the initial testing of the first limited production run, a number of problems were discovered. Around 2,300 improvements were made to the aircraft before full production resumed in late 1956. However the Voodoo had a tendency toward severe pitch-up at high angle of attack, and that problem was never really solved. The first F-101A was delivered in May 1957 to the 27th Strategic Fighter Wing. The F-101A had a max speed of Mach 1.52, and a range of approximately 4,800 kilometers. It had a fire control radar for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground use, and a low-altitude bombing system for delivering nuclear weapons. The F-101A was theoretically capable of carrying conventional bombs and Falcon air-to-air -air missiles, but it never used such weapons operationally. It was also fitted with four 20mm cannons. 77 F-101As were produced, some of these were later converted to RF-101G reconnaissance aircraft. When the F-101C was introduced in 1957, several problems with the F-101A had been solved. The new version had a heavier structure, allowing more G-load. It also had a revised fuel system. 47 F-101Cs were produced, none of them saw combat. A majority of the F-101Cs were later converted to RF-101H reconnaissance aircraft. The RF-101C reconnaissance version also used the new reinforced airframe and was also introduced in 1957. While equipped with cameras, it retained the bombing ability of the fighter versions. A total of 166 RF-101Cs were built. The version saw use during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1961, and was used in combat in the Vietnam War. A total of 39 aircraft were lost during the war. The RF-101C was the only version of the Voodoo to see combat. The F-101B was deployed into service in the interceptor role in 1959. The B model had been modified to carry a crew of two, and had a larger fuselage to hold the Hughes MG-12 fire control radar. It had a data link so that ground controllers could steer the aircraft towards its targets with the help of the autopilot. The F-101B also had more powerful engines, and extended afterburners. The F-101B carried four Falcon air-to-air -air missiles instead of 20mm cannons. It also carried two GAR-1 semi-active radar homing missiles, and two GAR-2 infrared guided missiles. Later models could also carry two Genie nuclear rockets. A total of 479 F-101B were delivered. Some of the B models were dual control trainers, initially designated TF-101B, but later redesignated F-101F. In the early 1970s 22 Canadian F-101Bs were returned to the U.S. Air Force, and converted to RF-101B reconnaissance versions. The Voodoo was retired from U.S. Air Force service in 1972, 
but kept serving in the Air National Guard until 1982.